What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today is a very exciting video because going along with my series talking about the five undergraduate colleges at UC Berkeley. Thus far we've talked about the College of Letters and Science, the College of Chemistry, the College of Engineering, the College of Environmental Design, and today is the last of the five five videos, we are going to be talking about the Rouser College of Natural Resources. So I'll have all of the other undergraduate college videos linked down below, so definitely check those out. And if you are a student applying to colleges this cycle, you should also definitely check out Study Hall College Consulting. If you're looking for things like college application essay review and general college tips and tricks, definitely check check out Study Hall College Consulting's website. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Blake. Uh, I was an MEV major at Berkeley as well as a marine science major, did a double, um, and I'm currently in the oceanography program at the University of Hawaii for graduate school. The Rouser College of Natural Resources has majors in genetics and plant biology, microbial biology, molecular environmental biology, nutritional sciences, dietetics, nutritional sciences, physiology, and metabolism, nutritional sciences, toxicology, conservation and resource studies, ecosystem management and forestry, environmental sciences, environmental economics and policy, and society and environment. So how did you choose your major and what got you interested in molecular environmental biology? I actually came in as an integrative biology major. That was what I applied to Berkeley under. And in the first few weeks, I had a lot of trouble signing up for classes because LNS just kind of sends you this big blanket video. And I ended up only getting into a chem lab instead of um, like the math classes, the chemistry classes, whatever that I was supposed to. Um, so I freaked out a little bit because I didn't get any of the classes I need. And then I tried to contact the counselors and they were booked for like a full month. I just took like some breath courses. I finally got into math and chem, um, but I still wanted to talk to an advisor about getting some help. And I emailed the CNR biology major advisor, which was um, MEB, Molecular Environmental Bio. And she was like, oh, come in tomorrow and meet with me. Like, and so I, I just went in and it was super easy to meet with her. And um, yeah, so I decided that CNR was better for me than LNS at that point. And um, so I switched and I just kind of like looked at the course material for MEB and I wasn't pre-med, but I was really interested in environmental biology stuff. So a lot of those classes were a lot more environmental focused uh, rather than like cell bio or pre-med type courses. CNR ended up being a good choice for me as did MEB. Um, and so that's how I chose my major. But yeah, there's a ton of options there. There's a lot of like social science, like policy degrees and interdisciplinary studies in there as well. There's like a nutritional science and toxicology. CNR has something for everyone. Just take a look at their website and go through the majors and see if anything fits for you if you have any even remote interest in environmental studies. If a student applying to Berkeley is unsure of what they're interested in, what they want to major in, should they apply to the College of Letters and Science and try to transfer into the Rouser College of Natural Resources as a Berkeley student? How easy or hard is it to transfer into the Rouser College of Natural Resources. Here's something that I didn't know when I applied to Berkeley is that you get graded differently in your application if you apply under LNS versus CNR. So the CNR counselors, they sit down and read the applications and they get a significant input and they get to recommend to the overall school of Berkeley who gets into CNR. I would recommend applying a CNR even if you're not sure. The other thing is it's pretty easy to switch into CNR. You technically have to wait until the end of your sophomore year, I think. I knew that I wanted to switch my very first semester, but I couldn't actually declare the switch until the end of sophomore year. The bad thing about that was that when you register for classes, there's some reserved seats for CNR kids. And so I wasn't able to get some CNR classes that I needed when I knew I was going to switch. So I was on the wait list and eventually got in, but you don't want to have to go through that. So just apply to CNR if you're thinking about it. Um, you have better shots of getting into Berkeley and you have 
um, a better chance of actually getting into the classes that you need. What are your classes like? Are they traditional lectures or more hands-on labs? So a lot of my CNR courses were just normal lecture hall type classes, but there were a few that were kind of fun and had field components to them. We had one where we went into Strawberry Creek and like caught crayfish and marked them. I was actually doing a day in the life for Rachel when we did that day. I'd say the classes are pretty fun. Um, I took like some really interesting courses. I took global change biology. That was really awesome. It like taught us how to write a research proposal and that was really cool. So that was a cool project that I have used now and still <laughs> still uh, use the skills I learned from that in graduate school. Labs, there's a lot of cool labs you can do. I took like a fish ecology class and we like got to play with like they had fish preserved in jars and we would pull them out and draw them and look at their anatomy and stuff so that was pretty fun i took like a wildlife ecology class learned about, about a bunch of like animals and how they do their thing also a landscape ecology class i took that one was all about like using coding to figure out what's going on with like patterns of different populations and migrations and things like that. How important is research for Rouser College of Natural Resources students? Do a lot of CNR students conduct research? I guess that's maybe a little more of a question that's guided towards like what you want to do in the future. If you want to do research and you want to be a researcher and you want to go to graduate school, I'd say it's really important for CNR students to do research. I'd say a lot of CNR students do conduct research, and the reason is because it's really easy to conduct research. So there's the URAP program for LNS, and that's where you can just apply to a bunch of labs and you can be an undergraduate research apprentice. CNR has its own version, which is called SPUR. And in SPUR, that's basically just to get CNR students to CNR faculty to do research stuff. So it's really cool. I did URAP before I was in CNR and SPUR after. I got in. I was in the Roderick and Gillespie Evo Lab, and that was really awesome. I had really great graduate student mentors. Yeah, I was able to do my own independent thesis project. It was super easy to apply to funding for that. There's something for everyone, and you can go in and try out these research opportunities and see if you like it, and then you might end up in a research career, going to graduate school, doing something like that. Honestly, if you're in a lab where you're treated as like undergraduate labor, I'd say that's not a great lab that's a good fit for you. But if you're in a lab that's really committed to making you a better researcher and encourages you to do your own projects and to think about like the questions you want to answer. Those are the good labs to be in. And sometimes you have to do the grunt work for a year before you can move on to do your own work, but it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. So I'd say getting involved in research was how I knew that I, I wanted to do research as a career. Up until then, I wasn't sure and I loved it. So um, here I am. What is the best part about the Rouser College of Natural Resources? What's the worst part about the Rouser College of Natural Resources? Best part of CNR is it's pretty small, so you get a really tight-knit community. Like, you take your classes with the same, the same people. And at a school of 40,000 kids like Berkeley, that's really important to have, like, a little core group that you associate with and that you feel connected to. I loved all the people that I met that were in CNR. Um, everyone's like-minded in terms of, you know, there's an environmental focus to whatever work you're doing. I found that oftentimes I was in classes with a lot of pre-med kids and those students were generally pretty like competitive. And like, I, I had a lot of good friends that were pre-med, um, but I can say that my friends that were CNR were a lot less stressed out. I don't know. It was, it was fun to have a group that was like environmental focus. I'd say that's the best part of CNR is the tight-knit community. It's super easy to get resources and to get help because it's a small department. The counselors are fantastic. I have no complaints about any of the counselors. Like they just, they helped me so much throughout my four years and that was great. And I really can't think of a worse part of CNR, to be honest. Like, no, I, I don't have any complaints about CNR. Like, I had a really good time there, and um, I would recommend it if you're considering it. What kinds of jobs can you get with a CNR degree? Do you need to go to grad school? That's, again, like a case-by-case -case type of question. If you're an MEB, you can get research jobs, you can um, be a lab tech. Biology degrees, you can for sure go get lab tech jobs. You can work at a lot of entry-level positions in um, NGOs, in labs, kind of whatever is, is out there. That's really a case-by-case -case basis. And do you need to go to grad school? Again, depends on what your career path is. If you want to go into research and academia, I think it's really important to get a master's or a PhD or whatever it is that you want to do so that you can be a more competitive applicant in those fields. Oftentimes you get a higher paying job with the more degrees you have. So I would recommend it. Otherwise, you kind of start in these entry level positions that maybe don't pay as much um, and it's harder to move up if you don't have those advanced degrees. Any final advice that you have for students, Blake? Do what you want to do. Try to find the clubs that 
you want to be a part of, there's a ton in CNR that are environmental focused. Um, that's a great way to meet people. Take the classes you want that you're interested in, because chances are they'll fit, fit under an elective. Section A, Section B, Section C, like requirements for CNR majors. So I think CNR gives you a lot of room to explore, and I think you should take advantage of that and really, really take the classes you want rather than focusing on the prereqs that like you do have to take, but you can add on to that by taking more of these electives that are really cool. But yeah, good luck, and I hope you choose CNR.